professional colleagues this is R Vishayagar practicing company secretary how we a change in a rule by SEBI helped Reliance Industries to raise 53,000 crore and to become a debt free company Reliance went for a right issue mainly because of a rule change made by the SEBI this is the main topic which I am going to discuss in this video today the recently concluded rights issue of shares by Reliance Industries Limited would not have been possible or successful were it not for the relaxation circle crucial rule by the SEBI a few days before the Reliance Industries Limited declared that it would conduct a, the country's biggest ever right issue to raise over rupees 53,000 crore not 1 crore or 2 crore 53,000 crore RIL share jumped to a record high of more than rupees 1,804 on Monday, June 22, 2020. RIL thus become the first Indian conglomerate with a market capitalization in excess of $150 billion. RIL raised rupees 53,125 crore through right issue. Mukesh Ampani's net worth zoomed to $64.5 billion making him the only Asian among the world 10 richest individuals, according to the Bloomberg magazine. Between May 20 and June 3, RIL conducted a right issue of its shares. The right issue by RIL raised about 53,125 crores, biggest amount ever raised through such an excise by any Indian company so far. The relaxation of rules by SEBI. The entire fundraising effort would not have been possible or successful had it not been a, for a crucial change in fine print of set of regulations issued by SEBI. In a notification issued on April 21, SEBI relaxed certain rules that prevent a company from seeking to conduct a right issue of shares in a fast track mode, noted fast track mode as RIL did if there are ongoing cases against the company, pending cases against the company in which SEBI has alleged that there have been violations of laws relating to trading of securities by RIL. The relaxation suited RIL perfectly as the company is currently is in, in adjudication proceeding relating to various allegations of insider trading leveled by SEBI and would therefore have been barred from conducting a fast track right issue. RIL's board approved the rights issue nine days after the SEBI's notification on April 30, 2020. Now Reliance is a debt free company. On June 20, 2020, Ambani announced that RIL was now debt free company having raised rupees 1.68 lakhs crore since the beginning of the April. April 2020 onwards, Geo Platforms Limited, a subsidiary of RIL, has been on fundraising spree with uh, stake sales in 11 investments deals announced so far. The company raised around rupees 1.1 lakh crore by selling over a fifth of its ownership stake. Facebook investors from Abu Dhabi, Saudi Arabia invested in Geo Platform Limited. For every 15 shares held by shareholder, one share was on offered at a 14% discount on the stock exchange with a closing value on April 30. On June 3, when the right to issue closed, it was repos reported to have been oversubscribed by 1.59 times the amount with the value of announced by RIL with the value of rupees 53,125 crore. Position before relaxation of SEBI rule. When, what is the position before relaxation of SEBI rule? One particular relaxation of an ICDR regulation concerned companies that are facing charges of violations of Indian security laws. Rule 99 of the ICDR regulations govern the eligibility conditions for companies to conduct a right issue in fast track mode. Subrule 99H of the ICDR regulations specified that only those companies against which no show cause notice have been issued or prosecution proceedings have been initiated by the board and pending against the issuer or its promoters or whole time directors as on the reference date 
are permitted to conduct a fast track rights issue of shares insider trading charges against reliance of in its letter of offer for its right issue then under the heading outstanding litigation and defaults rl has made various disclosures and explanation about the charges leveled by sebi against it one case refer for example i am going to not to discuss all the cases just i am going to illustrate only one case in one case referred to relates to the acquisition of insider trading in the shares of reliance petroleum limited the adjudication order passed by g mr g mahalingam a whole time member of sebi declared that in november 2007 ril and 12 other companies that acted as its front companies conducted a well planned fraudulent and manipulative trading scheme aiming at reaping huge speculative profits due to sebi amendment filing of draft letter of offer discarded so under the earlier icr icdr regulations a company seeking to conduct a right issue to raise over rupees 10 crore was required to first to file a draft of its letter of offer with the sebi so under earlier regulation a company first file first it has to file a draft letter of offer with the sebi the regulator was given a month's time to respond with the comments and observation and to direct any changes to the draft letter of offer following which the company was required to file a new draft letter complying with the sebi direction these requirements were laid out in section 1 2 4 and 5 of the rule 71 of the icdr regulations sebi's april 21 circulars did away with uh, with these requirements altogether nothing contained in this subsection 1 2 4 and 5 of regulation 15 shall apply if issuer satisfies the conditions mentioned under regulation and regulation 99 of icdr regulations for making a right issue through a fast track route sebi recent relaxation creeping acquisition sebi also made on another recent relaxation to promote uh, to help the promoters to acquire uh, 10% of share holding up to 10% of the share holding creeping acquisition limit for fresh acquisition by promoters temporarily increased to 10% under the sebi take over code until covid 19 period sebi has on th- 16th june 2020 amended take over code allowing promoters who holds 25% or more shares or voting rights in the target company but less than maximum permissible non public hold share holding to acquire additional shares of voting rights up to 10% of the voting rights was sebi's rule change justified is it justified sebi's rule in favor of um, issues you know, issued in favor of ril the principle of disallowing companies accused of all violating security laws from raising capital by conducting right issue on the stock market is that an entity accused of fraud on its shareholder should not be permitted to seek the stick to raise funds from the same shareholders rl stand accused of security law violation by sebi in which victims of violations are rl own shareholders how does the covid-19 pandemic warrant a warrant permitting a company accused of security law violations against its shareholders to raise funds by means of right issue from the same shareholders the role of the regulator mainly sebi is to ensure that market are fair and they are and the level playing field is leveled but the manner in which the government and regulatory authorities have amended the rules and regulations for the benefit of india's biggest company led by the country's richest man makes him wonder yet again whether mugesh ambani and his conglomerate are more influential than the government of india this is the main question which is, is hammering in the minds of every shareholders and also public in india now so, friends thanking for seeing this video i wish request you to like share and subscribe my channel thank you once again arvishegar practicing company secretary